Non-stop news starting with new information about the gunman who shot and killed a fellow student at Arapahoe High School two and a half weeks ago. Investigators say the teen entered the school through an unlocked door. Just one of the new details released today. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez talking to Sheriff Grayson Robinson about the investigation. Lance, he's telling you that the gunman fired six shots, including the one he used to kill himself. Now, Mike, the sheriff didn't refer to the gunman by name. As a matter of fact, he didn't even call him the gunman. He called him the murderer. He says the murderer entered that school and fired a total of six shots. He was bent on evil, and he was bent on causing the largest amount of harm to the largest number of people that he could. Sheriff Robinson says the murderer, armed with a shotgun, machete, and three Molotov cocktails, fired his first shot in the hallway and his second at Claire Davis. She died. He fired a third shot down the hallway, then went into the media center and fired a fourth shot at the librarian's office. Robinson says the murderer then set fire to the library with one of the Molotovs. He fired a fifth shot in the library, then killed himself. It is our belief that the murderer acted alone. Robinson says the reason there weren't more casualties is because of the quick action of the school's resource officer, James Englert, and an unarmed guard, Rod Mahler. He called Englert a hero. James Engler was given the distinct honor on Saturday to serve as a pallbearer for Claire Davis. And he was asked specifically by the Davis family. District Attorney George Brockler says investigators want to be transparent, but that it's too early to unseal court documents. He says nearly a dozen search warrants have been executed and says there will be more. The goal here is to come up with as many answers as possible. I mean, look, the bottom line for us is it's not just about fact-finding, it's about determining if there's any justice that can be obtained in this process. Now, Sheriff Robinson says the murderer gave no indication that anything was amiss. He says he took time to have a meal and to even go bowling by himself before he came to school to commit murder. In Centennial, Lance Hernandez, 7 News.